So this week we looked at non-renewable energy resources and we particularly paid attention to coal, oil, and natural gas. Um, it's important when talking about all fuels and all use of energy that we remind ourselves that conservation and efficiency are almost always desirable first choices. Efficiency was one of the topics we talked about this week. We introduced the first and second laws of thermodynamics. The idea is that energy is neither created nor destroyed and it, it changes form, but it must come from somewhere. So in order to get kinetic energy of traveling down the highway in your car, that energy must come from somewhere, typically from gasoline or diesel fuel. Same way with electricity. If you're using electricity, it's gotta come from somewhere, like from this coal right here. So conversions are defined and described by the second law of thermodynamics, that whenever there's a conversion or a transformation of energy from one form to another, say coal to electricity, there's always gonna be losses. There's always gonna be decreases in the amounts of usable energy, and we define that as the efficiency of the process. Typically, coal to electricity is 30, 35% efficient. Some natural gas energy, electricity generation is more 50 to 60% efficient, but that's about as high as you're gonna get from going from a fuel to electricity. As so we talked about entropy is a measure of the disorder or randomness of a system. All systems move towards randomness. Their entropy is always increasing. A system like a bedroom never randomly just becomes more ordered. You have to put energy into it. So we did the first and second laws of thermodynamics. We talked about the pros and cons of different fuels. Coal being less clean than oil, which is less clean than natural gas. When we talk about clean, we're talking about particulate emissions, we're talking about sulfur emissions, and probably most importantly, we're talking about the amount of carbon dioxide that's released from a fuel for quantity of energy obtained from it. And coal releases more carbon dioxide than does petroleum, which releases more than natural gas. So that's the week that we just did. We're moving on to renewables, and next week we're gonna consider solar, wind, hydro, and other renewable energy sources.